Welcome back, Random TV Reviews, your girl Lynette. And it's your boy, Stanley. Alright, we're coming in with this week's Love and Marriage, Huntsville, and it's entitled, Wow. <laughs> Listen, let's go ahead and get this out the way. Have a fabulous weekend, y'all. Y'all yeah, be yeah. safe. Don't do anything that will get you in any trouble. Because remember, right. the judge won't be in until Tuesday. Right. So whatever you do, <laughs> you're going to be sitting there. Yeah. And your mama can't help you. She can't put a house up. Nothing. None of that's going to matter to Tuesday. Yeah, because ain't nobody got no bail money because they spent all that money on the cookout food for the mom. Huh? <laughs> and, and there ain't no refunds on the ribs and the crab legs. Uh, talk about it. It just ain't. But uh, if you all are new to the channel, consider hitting that subscribe button. Yeah. It's free 99. If you come back here each and every week, no matter what we're talking about, y'all a real one. And yeah. thank y'all for hanging in there with us. Let's go ahead and talk about it. This week's episode was entitled properly because Wanda, Wanda, yes. Wanda. She was on one. <laughs> usually, well, when is she not on one? <laughs> yeah, usually I can, I can roll with Wanda because Wanda reminds us of someone in everyone's family yeah you have that one person that comes in loud wrong starting up the mess and but after er a while, everybody been yeah but after <laughs> a while you could just roll with it and be like ha 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 this time yeah wanda was just doing way too much even for me so we start off where we picked up off from last week's episode where wanda was telling mel last week listen where you gonna find another man that's gonna take care of you and your four children it's hard out here in these streets I agree with her. It's hard out here in these streets, but that does not mean that a woman has to put herself in a position to keep being abused, misused, mistreated over and over and over for the sake of saying, I have a man or I'm trying to work it out with my husband, baby's father, whatever. But, but, that's, that, but that. that's that that's that quote unquote old school wisdom. Yes. Is that no matter what the spouse does, that's man or woman. Hey, it's hard for you to find some some good men and women out here in the street. Yeah, so you better work you better keep what you got, honey. Uh, uh what? But then <laughs> she doesn't even take that advice. Look, it's so, almost yeah. like that advice goes towards everybody else that's not in her immediate family. Yeah. But when it comes to her and her immediate family, it's you got to be doing this, you got to mm -hmm. be doing that. Even her, she got two husbands right now. Was obviously the first one went cutting the deal. So. <laughs> Wanda, like, what the hell? But that'd be the main one's giving the marriage advice, though, man. Real fast. Yeah. So she gets on this tangent of telling Mel, like, listen, I'm not telling you to take him back. I'm telling you to give him a chance. Every time he posts something on social media, you get mad. Y'all rah, rah, rah. Why don't y'all just try to figure out a way to work it out? Because obviously there's some intensity there. Now, I agree with you on that thing. Because I'm one of those people. When I don't care, I don't motherfucking care. Right. Like, nothing you do gives me any type of mm, I don't feel it. So if what he's doing on social media is enough for you to speak out, retaliate, yeah, give it some action and give it some mm, that means you still care. Yeah. So I agree with her on that aspect, but at the same time she told her <laughs> and y'all might get mad, but we've been saying this since season one. If you go keep with this insane, this same intensity when it comes to Martell, y'all might as well be sister wives. <laughs> now, oh, that's kind of a good point. Yeah, my just... sentiment changed when she finally did leave him in divorce. But I'm told y'all from the get go, the only thing was gonna make her leave Martell alone was if he got that girl pregnant, mm -hmm. and that was the straw that broke the camel's back. Otherwise, I think if he never had gotten that girl pregnant, you they still, still be, be would be in that big open threesome. Hmm. I still think they would be. So, Wanda's thought process may not be all the way off, but her saying that you need to stay in that is off. Yeah, especially on the side, like you said, the way she keep on going at Marceau about these these 26 women. <laughs> women's. The women's that we ain't seen yet. And every time she come around, it's always with you. I know you're going to talk about this, this male situation. And this is like the third, second, third time that him and male situation is coming up. And I was like, I don't... I'm over I, it. Yeah, I don't see them messing around. I, I really don't. Mm -mm. And I'm not saying that just because I like Ma, so, but I don't see that. Yeah. So then Destiny had had enough. See, Destiny is a lot like me as well. You can keep running your mouth, running your mouth, running your mouth. And eventually, I'm going to have to be the one to be like, listen, Wanda, shut the entire buck up. Because mm -hmm. right now, you said a bunch of rah-rah that she's not trying to hear. <clears throat> you not trying to listen. 
at the same time, just leave it the buck alone right now. Yeah. So then her and Destiny got into a little heated match. And I thought Destiny came off a little aggressive. <laughs> but it's fine. In this situation, it is forgiven. Eventually, Mel said, you know what? I had had enough. I'm going to be. I'm, I'm out of here. Yeah. So she left and Destiny left right behind her. See, Destiny, one of them friends, are like, even if we ain't right here right now, we ain't right here right now. When Skit goes left, I still I got, still got you. I still got you. Yeah, I still got you. So yeah. she ran out behind her. And, you know, you have Mel in, your, in her confessional talking about it, how she usually don't have time for Wanda. But today she had time. Shout out to whoever did Mel's wig placement this week for this um, for this confessional. It's the best I've seen it. And I love it. Stay stay with that person. Stay with them. <laughs> so get back over there. And then we have Kimmy. Kimmy didn't go out behind nobody because Kimmy actually thinks for herself and she has yeah. a brain and she's her own woman. And she's stuck there sitting there with Wanda. So Wanda now takes it as an opportunity to in my T.I. voice. Take some jabs out. To start taking jabs at Kimmy. Yep. I was like, oh, so you're not going to leave out behind her and this, that, and that. And then she starts telling me, um, telling um, Kimmy, Kimmy about all the stuff that she's done and to po Tisha and, and post on social, on social media. media. So Kimmy was like, since you're talking, talking about, about it, it, tell me what, what it is. <laughs> she said, you know what it is. You don't did a lot yeah, of skit. Right. You, but you but can't tell her, her what one it is. thing that she's done while you're in her face. It's just y'all two. Yeah. Y'all conversing. Why? Why? Yeah. She can't tell her nothing. So then Kimmy gets low to the to the table. Yeah. So when you're from the DMV and when somebody go low to the table like this, tell me, tell me what, what the, the fuck, fuck I, I did. did. That means in one swoop, I'm yeah. gonna come up and I'm gonna hit the hell out of you. That's that's all I saw. I saw Kimmy coming up from the table and your neck, your neck and your chin was gonna do a look a little side side like this. Cause that's what happens. Don't make me go low. Because if I go low, when I come back up, it's not going to be good. Coming and up, coming I, up. Punch. <laughs> and I'm going to have to wait for the judge to come in on Tuesday month via Skype. Because we still got the social distance. With no bail. None. I spend it all on the cookout. Man, I'm trying to. <laughs> but that's why we got a good savings, man. Huh. If you need help with your with building your cash flow in your life, come on over there to our other channel where we yeah, teach you live, how to live. Live Living while, while saving. saving. Yeah, man. We'll link it down below. That's a real thing. We yeah. teach people how to live while save money at the same time. So you ain't got to deal with not being able to post your bail when you act a fool. Huh? You can act a fool and know that. <laughs> I can get out. I can back my own stuff up. So, <laughs> but uh, backtracking a little bit, I did agree with what Mel said to Wanda <laughs> about following Arion on social media. But at the same time, I don't know the back history because we live in Virginia. Virginia is huge, but it's also very small. Yeah. So if you run in a certain circle, everybody knows everybody. So does Wanda actually know Ariane from something else other than this Mel and Martell thing? Because if that's the case, then you can't hold it against her for commenting and following this girl. Right. Because she may know her from something else. But if you only know her... I don't think her, so, though. I don't, I don't but if you... So. Oh, I'm not trying to play devil's <laughs> but, advocate. Yeah, I see what you're saying, but, but I don't think so, But if she only though. knows her from this situation, then yeah, you being mad as hell yeah like like that'd be like that'd be like one of our friends step out and cheat on their wives and i'm on social media talking to her commenting on her stuff so and beautiful like, yeah stuff like that it was like no nah, that is so got no disrespect it's like well she like, is beautiful no that's disrespectful to my friend group yeah because i wouldn't know of you otherwise yeah so yeah i agree with that <clears throat> so we go and we see mel in the studio and Mel is trying to tell y'all, she's sick and tired of y'all telling her that she's writing songs for Martell. Wait, 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 it's what? a collaborative effort with the whole bunch of... Now, the one you were saying on this episode, you were talking about, about, about uh, Martell. Martell. Especially saying, my, my, what she said, my friends is talking skit about you. Or, and laughing. And, and laughing and all, all I'm like. Kind of I'm like, and it's like, not cool. And I'm yeah. like, although those verses are universal to every cheater in the world, they're very specific. So we have Destiny over in the studio with Mel as well. And they're just having this conversation. And Destiny came over to show her support of her friend. But she also wanted to get a few things off of her chest. And she brought up the mishap that happened with Tiffany, her husband, Maurice. It's a lot of M's, y'all. Maurice, <laughs> Kimmy, Kiowa, all of that. 
And Destiny actually said, she said, I really felt bad for whatever had happened over there with Tiffany because she was crying. And Mel goes on to tell, you know, Destiny, listen, Tiffany has a great heart. She, I wouldn't have brought her in this friend group if I didn't believe that she had a great heart. Maybe she's just real relaxed, too open, too blah at the mouth, but her intentions are never to be hurtful, blah, 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 blah. And I'm sitting here like, are we talking about the same person, right? Like, yeah. <laughs> okay. So Destiny was like, you know what? You really do defend Tiffany in a way that is just like way over the top. And I just hope as your friend, your real friend, yeah, you that, that you me. defend me when I'm not present the way that you defend Tiffany when she's not present. So Mel goes on to tell her, listen, pretty much almost like Jesus, my sheep know my voice and a stranger they would not follow. I know you. You can you can you take up for yourself. yourself. Mm -hmm. Tiffany's a little bit more timid. And Destiny sensitive. said, maybe I'm sensitive, but I show mine in a different way. So just like you take up for her, why don't you take up for me? Then they get into the aggressiveness of each and every scenario that they have been in in the last couple of weeks, months, or whatever. <laughs> I will say this, the only time that I felt like Destiny was overly aggressive was at the taco thing. Because Destiny already came in with a chip on her shoulder about what had happened at her birthday party. Right. And that was, I could see it. Not that I'm forgiving her and what she did. But she was aggressive when Mel was trying to speak. And she kept <laughs> cutting her off, telling her this, that, and the third. So Mel was like, well, when I came over to your house, you were aggressive with me. No, she really wasn't. You, Mel, was being passive aggressive with the yeah, rolling eyes and shutting mm -hmm. eyes and stuff. And I'm yeah. not your son, and I'm not, and that's the stuff we have been calling out for ever with Mel. And then when her and Martell are on good terms, they both act like that together, and yeah. it's just sickening. Anyway, <laughs> I digress. So they ended up pretty much leaving that where it was, and we'll see if their friendship continues to flourish. Or in a back cuddle, we don't know. But, but I do like what Mel had talked about, because we had talked about this uh, a few days ago, about knowing your friends, you <laughs> should know your voice, and we believe that in friendships, you put your friends in different buckets. Oh, yeah. So you got your inner circle. That's the people that you truly trust. You know, they got your back. You know, y'all road dogs. Not mean that y'all always going to see the eye to eye. Y'all going to argue sometimes. Y'all going to disagree sometimes. And then you have those people that's on the outside of your circle that, that don't know everything about you, but you just kind of those people are in, in categories. So I do understand what, what Mel was saying. But, like, when she was at, the, at Destiny's birthday party, when Tiffany brought up the situation about LaBerry, that was a sensitive issue because she walked out the table, but she, but Mel didn't do the same approach with her right. as she doing with Tiffany. Right. So you saying that you, you know your friends, but you didn't demonstrate it in that, yeah. in that situation. And you knew that this was fresh for Destiny. Mm -hmm. And <clears throat> Destiny isn't a person that shows a lot of her feelings and emotions. For her to get up from that table, let you know that that was big. That hit on the place. Yeah. Yeah. So. But I can see it though. I mean, I'm ahead celebrating my birthday, you know, with my friends. And who is this? We finna turn up. We finna have a good time. I ain't here to talk about my my ex husband. No. Nah. Period. Yeah. That's why he's <laughs> an ex. He over there. Over. <laughs> way over there. So we over there at Tiffany and Lewis' house, and they outside doing some yard work. She out there on the ride lawnmower with no shoes on. I'm calling OSHA. But um, <laughs> so this is what gets me with Tiffany and him. And I don't know if it's just being. I don't know, because I don't know if she's ever done TV before, so I don't know if it's new, just being new to TV and whatever, but she talks with her husband like she's selling him on an experience that, that he, he wasn't, wasn't a there. part of. Yeah, he was there. I'm like, you know he was there, right? Yeah, he was at, he was at. It's almost <laughs> like talking to third person, but not a third person, but yeah. over here, but we right here. And I'm like, it's freaking weird to me. But she's telling Lewis <laughs> that she felt so blindsided by what Maurice and them had said that they had. She just wanted to get out and have a good time and just have fun with the friends and meet new people. And as soon as she gets settled in good, she's being approached by Maurice and this, that, and pulled over to the... How you think Destiny felt? Yeah. That she was at her she party. Was, she was blindsided. And you sat your butt down. And then you blindsided her with some foolishness. Put yourself in her shoes for a minute. Hmm. 
So, okay. So then this is where, see, last week I kind of felt like Tiffany got it just a little bit. She, she was crying. Okay. We're going to see how you move going forward. Yeah. But now the person that I said I didn't like when she first came on the scene is the person that showed up again. So now you're taking everything that you said off the table as what the true issue is. And you believe that the true issue is because they're embarrassed because Maurice didn't tell no, Kimmy. Kimmy. And now this displays the fact that they have communication issues within their marriage. Now, I agree. I think she should have known that right off the top. Yeah. That's my opinion. Yeah, that's my opinion. But too, I yeah. don't go hard on things like that because I'm not a parent. And people like to remind me that I'm not a parent, so I don't understand. <laughs> so I just keep what I got to say. I leave it at that and let the people with the children argue about it. But at the same time, I believe that if she has a front row role in his life, she, she know, should have known know everything. That. Yeah. Yeah. And it did. It kind of did put on front street that there is some type of miscommunication or a lack of communication going on in the home. But what we're not going to do is but try to act not, like yeah, that wasn't the issue. this was the no, issue. That wasn't the issue. That, that's, a, that's separate. Yeah. Yeah, that's separate. A real issue, but yeah. like you said, very separate. So, no, we're not going to take and take it, take you off of that eye on the stove that gets the water the hottest and put you on the one to the back to keep you on simmer. No, no, no. You started this. Yeah. They chin checked you about it. Yeah, you may have been a little embarrassed because maybe someone has never approached you like that. Maurice did it so. Yeah, I mean he did calm, it just yeah, calm like an adult. He didn't, he didn't raise his voice. No. He didn't. He didn't say anything to degrade you. He Nothing. was just saying that he thought it was wrong for you to bring up a child situation around a bunch of people that don't know him. Now he got to live with this stigma that he was vaping in the bathroom. And yeah. that was just a one-time mistake. So that was his thing. So then we have Lewis. I was cool with Lewis last week. Yeah, although because... I felt like, let your wife speak. You weren't there. You let her speak. But I get as a man, you don't want any, you don't want to feel like your wife has been harped on in your presence. I get that part. But this week, now you're talking about some, yeah. I was on my way to the bar when we got approached by this and I'm so glad I didn't have that, that shot. shot in me because this could have went a whole nother way. How? How, Lewis? How? How right. is this going to go a whole nother way? So you one of the ones that need to take you a shot so that your real personality can get all about. What were you about to get bouted about? Yeah, because I'm like, you was, he was sitting there the whole time agreeing with uh with uh Maurice yeah. that he said that she was wrong for bringing it up she shouldn't I understand we cool and now behind his back oh it would have been it would have been something different I had a drink we were squared up like nigga what <laughs> yeah <laughs> I'm like where did this come from and yeah. then they talk about stuff and we felt like everything was coming down to a resolve and a meeting of the minds and then his the um the son's mother came and sat down. And I felt like I had to rehash this all over again. You started this. Yeah. You so it if she needs to hear this story again, you're going to have to tell it again. Because if you had never said what you said, we wouldn't be here. But I don't even feel like anybody harped on anything. Once nah, it was over. It was over. It was over. They yeah. even hugged about it. Yeah. And it was like moving forward. This is how we move. We have an understanding that you keep my child's name out of your mouth. Yep. And that's a done deal. So I, I don't know. I'm just sitting here like, where are we going with this? Are they going to be? But, but then again, we know this show, it, how they throw stuff in there. It highlights that. Yeah. So we don't know if it's really fact or fiction. Yeah. <laughs> so we see Martel back on the job site, right? He's with his um, <laughs> new partner. Lord, forgive me. Forgot his name. But I told Stella, I said, boy, if that ain't you, just as country as swag down as can be standing there and lean back on, uh -huh. his, on the heels of his feet. I said, that is you all day long. And, and Stella used to work construction too. I sure did. I did. I sure did. I said, oh my God. I said, boy, that's you all day. But now Mar um, Martel said that he's going to pursue getting his builder's license because he, he realized now that him being in a position where he let Melody hold all the strings to the business allowed him in a position to lose his businesses and where he has to feel it, really just start over yeah. and pretty much live with getting partners that have what he don't have. So now he wants to go ahead and pursue those things so that he can land on his feet 
And he said, you know, at first he said, I didn't mind Mel having all the lights. Right. He said, well, that's my wife. Yeah. We in this together. Right. I get you. But what I don't understand about Martel is this. The way he thinks is just, <clears throat> it's just way over the top for me. He said, I love my wife and I would have never thought that we would separate and I'd lose everything. But you did it. But you did that. Yeah. <laughs> it's not like Mel just decided one day she didn't want this marriage anymore. And then she took it all. And she took it all. Yeah. You put in play the issue mm, yeah. that put you in position to lose, lose it everything. all. everything. Yeah. So you never <laughs> thought for a moment while you were sneaking and dipping and sneaking and creeping that at some point she going to wise up and she may go ahead and divorce my tail. Let me go ahead and solidify and, and make my life solid on this end because if these businesses have to be split down the middle, the person with the license is going to win. You never thought about that. Yeah, but I guess to go back to, he probably thought that she would never, never leave, ever leave him. Yeah, because, I mean, she was talking about how it was like a few years mm -hmm. that she was dealing with him with that. So he probably thought, well... She's just gonna be my side piece and I'm gonna have my main piece and it's gonna be all good. And I really thought, and I really think that yeah. that baby never came into play, it still would be that way. But like you said, the baby would, would change the game. Yeah. Yeah. So he said that, you know, we're talking about the 40 acres and a mule. I'm sick of them 40 acres and the yeah. mule is like. Burn it down. Yeah. <laughs> Don't even so, matter at this point. He's saying that, you know, he he's back on the fact that. What's the guy's name? Can't think of his name. But um, how Chris, he, Chris, 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 how he approached Melody to be the builder for some residential homes. But he said, you know, I had an opportunity to put myself in the running, but I have to go ahead and get my license in so that I can be in the game because I need to rebuild and rebrand myself because I, I am Martel Holt. I am Holt and Holt. I just can't do anything right now without licenses. Good for you. We we don't never want to see nobody down yeah, now yeah, for yeah. forever. Right. But that's you made that bed of nails and now you gotta lay on it with a rock. Yeah, well, grandma, yeah, well, grandma, what mama used to say you made your bed hard, now you gotta lay you on it. You gotta lay in it. Yeah. And it feels horrible, doesn't it? Yeah. And it feels horrible. So let's go ahead and talk about Mar um Marso. Marso Wanda, Wanda and Tish. And Tish. So, hope I am. Tish. Yeah. Now, I'm trying to figure out if I missed anything. It don't matter. Yeah. Like, I might be saying it doesn't <laughs> matter. Um, Wanda breaks her tail over there to the residence. So, she's in the backyard and Tisha's out there trying to put the umbrella up on the patio. So, here come Wanda starting it with the foolishness. So, Wanda goes back and reports what happened at Black. In a way that benefits her to get yeah. Tisha mad. And I knew she was going to do that. Knew I, she I knew was she was going to turn it. that story around. She talked about how <laughs> Kirby jumped all up in her face. And told her to shut the up. Table, table, telling her to shut up. And, and Tisha said, but what happened, Ma, to get to this point? Like, she just started telling you to shut up. And getting all in your face. And she was like, well, I was telling Mel this and that and this. And then, um... Destiny ran after her, but like, oh, she must have the bananas because you just like monk, little monkeys running mm -hmm. behind her. Yeah. And this, that, and the third. I was like, okay, just Wanda, please tell it the way that it really had happened. And I was like, Tish, you know your mama's BS. Come on, read that BS. So then she was like, yeah. And then they got mad at me because I'm complimenting the girl. I think the girl is pretty. I think that she is. Why I can't follow her on social media? That's what I want to do. The, 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 case is, the case in point is the reason why she following Ariane is so she can get the tea to keep the drama going. <laughs> so even Tish, this is what Tish really clicked in. And I said, thank mm -hmm. you. She said, Mom, I would never, ever. She said, this is where there's a difference between me and you. I would never follow someone that came in and wrecked my friend's Friendship. household. Yeah. I would never be following her, no matter what I think about them. I wouldn't mm -hmm. be following them, complimenting them. But you do that. Yeah. You, that's you. That's what you do. So if they got a problem with it, that's the problem. Yeah. But please don't make it an issue with all of us. Because me and you are different when it comes to stuff like that. Right. So they go on and on and on. And then like Miss Wanda said, well, I do. I think she's beautiful and all this. So next thing we know, we got a... <laughs> we got... Uh, Marceau comes out. He took out the way he was peeking out that window when she came up. He knew. He knew. He knew the BS was about to start. So he comes outside and he was like, hey, Miss Wong, I like your hair. Tish, thanks for not, not inviting her in the house. house. <laughs> I said, oh, boy. 
So then Miss Wanda gets it started with Marceau right out the gate. Yep. Because the issue came up with the fact that Marceau apparently took um, Melody a bottle Whoa. of chocolate in a bottle. He said, yeah. yeah. Speaking of Marceau, where our, where, our, where our bottle at, man? Yeah. Like, we was the first people to even yeah, review well, well, the well, show. Yeah. And we ain't got a bottle. Where like, a bottle at, man? man. That's yeah. what black people do to each other. Yeah. <laughs> but anywho, um, so he was like, yeah, I wanted her to be a brand ambassador for the wine. And she was like, so here go Wanda, but did you personally take the bottle over there? Now, I can say this. Personally making an effort to take a bottle to someone and passing a bottle to someone while you're at an event is two totally different things. Did I just say event? Oh, God, please forgive me. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> uh, is it? That is two totally different things when you're in a marriage and the way you, you move is that of respect for your mate. If I ever go meet up with a guy, my husband knows about it. If he ever goes meet up with a female, I but know about But he said it. Tish knew that he was going to be taking her a bottle of wine. But she said that the bottle of wine was supposed to be given at her birthday. She oh. didn't know. So now she's trying to get the answer to the question. Did you go over the mails and personally deliver the bottle? Because now that's what the issue that Wanda's trying to make come up. And like Tish said, Tish said, I'm not one of those girls that's like, oh. But at the same time. When you do this, like what, what the hell going on around here? I get that from a marital um, standpoint. Not that you like overly. Don't oppressed. let your good. Like, don't let your good be evil spoken. Be evil spoken of because it was good <clears throat> until somebody evilly spoke of it, and now yeah. you don't have the answers to it. Now it starting to look real crazy. But but the point that Marcel was making was, you know me, you and. But he got I, twenty women. Yeah, according to Wanda. <laughs> So it's like y'all are a circle of friends. Mm -hmm. So even if I decided to take a personal bottle of wine to one of our female friends, mm -hmm. you know I ain't taking a bottle of wine to her because I want to get with her. Right. Or trying to, you know, take it somewhere else. So it's like when Wanda bring this stuff up and Tish gets like blows out the water, it's like, okay, do you even trust myself? Yeah. And, and, and the question is, uh, not saying you done cheated, bro, but it's like every time another woman come up, your wife just like spazzes right out, man. Yeah. So I'm like, what's going on? Yeah, but even that scenario that you used, we still have to put everybody's emotions and what, how they run their household in check. Right. But me, I would have told you. Right. I mean, because I, yeah, I, yeah. Because here's the thing. You I'm not giving nobody the opportunity right. to, to you, tell you that. I'm going to tell you. Right. Because yeah. you could have took the bottle over there. But then the husband of the woman that you took it to didn't know you was bringing it over there. And I have I have an example. Yeah. It was it was I don't work at this job no more, but it was a job I was working at, and I was on my way to work, and I got to work, and one of the female friends of my wife had needed a ride to the job, and I was from like, the from yeah, because it's downtown. It's so downtown, you know yeah. So I was like, yeah, cool, cool. That's you know, jump on there, that's a ride. And as soon as she got out of the car. I call her and I say, hey, such and such was in my car. We caught a ride over to the what you call it. So I cut off the fact for anybody to be able to text her or call her and be like, hey, I saw, I saw your husband downtown by the job with another <laughs> woman in the car. So, and I'm like, okay, I don't care. <laughs> yeah. In real time, I don't care. But right. if I had heard that in a different way, it like what yeah. Wanda was trying to do, yeah. I would be like, did you have, oh yeah, that day I picked, it still would have been cool, but it's better to know. Beforehand, yeah, yep. kill the devil before the devil ran. Hello, the head. <laughs> so Marcel pretty much said, Listen, if you don't know me in these last 15, 15 years, years, you will never <laughs> yeah. ever know me. I don't give a rat, I'm not answering the question, it's a dumb a question. So here come Wanda, you know, you could have a baby out there. He said, I sure do, I sure do, I do got a baby out there because you, you a sorry grandma. <laughs> And this shit said, no, your mama side, grandma. This what Tish was like, oh, 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 yeah. yeah. For once, I am so proud of you, Tisha. Yeah, she because stood, she she stood, stood up to Wanda, man. Yeah, and she was like, mom, let's go ahead. Every time you come over here, you disrespect my household. Mm -hmm. You have these, this is the father of my daughters, your granddaughters. 
And every time you say stuff like that, that's a reflection on my household. It's a strain on my household. My strain children, on my marriage. Yeah, my children can hear about this. You saying that he got <laughs> women and children. And that's not cool. You need to stop doing that because you're not just hurting him. You're, you're hurting, hurting me. me. And I'm your daughter. And I was like, come on, mm -hmm. this, this is what I'm talking about. Finally stand up to your mom and to her. It's wrong. And you can tell that Wanda was hurt a little bit. And we've been saying that ever since Wanda showed up on the scene that Tish need to put her in her place. Not disrespect her, but let her know what it is that she's doing when she shows up. Yep. yep. So I was like, okay, finally, <laughs> we finally got Tisha with a little and bit And Wanda ain't had nothing to say either. Because she Shut knew up. it. Yeah, because it's the truth. And then here come Ma, so he was like, I really think you're a walking day drunk. That's yeah, what I think you are. I said, oh, wow. <laughs> wow, Marso. I can see it, though. Yeah. <laughs> I can see it. I was like, but we, we're going to call her a day drunk. Don't show her pulling up in no vehicles no more. Because the judge not going to be in it to Tuesday. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's not going to be in to Tuesday. So... What else happened after that? Pretty much, that was that was pretty, pretty much, much the gist of but it. But this week it looked like oh, out there in Vegas, it's fitting to get uh get uh turned up and fired up and drama up or all that and all the above. Yeah, one more thing. Oh, when that dad go, Marceau told told Wanda, obviously. You don't think I'm the man for your daughter. Yeah. <laughs> you want the best for Tisha. So I but, want the best for Tisha. So you need to go out and then find her. You need to go and find whoever it is that's going to be best for Tisha. Because obviously, I'm not here. I said. But you brought up a good point, though, about those moms that insist on their daughters being with a certain guy that they fell in love with. Do y'all think Wanda like that? Yeah. That, that maybe it's a certain guy that Tisha used to be with. Yeah. That's what I said. Because back in the day, like, you all, I think everyone has had this scenario where you've brought someone home to your family and they absolutely love them. Yeah. But they're not good for you. They've done things to you, against you, and they're just not good. Yeah. But your family loves them. Yeah. The, the, and the, the family ain't seen the BS. <laughs> yeah. And even if they did, it's forgivable BS in their opinion. <clears throat> Is that what's going on with Wanda? Like, there's this guy that they love for Tisha, but T it didn't work out for them. And now Marceau just ain't never going to be enough. And they've been <laughs> together 15 years. But, yeah. but Rodney? Oh, that uh -huh. that boy is a... Oh, he, his that's, parents... That's, his parents a, that's, a church. Good, that's a good man. <laughs> yeah. He got his issues. Uh -huh. I know he got them three kids on you behind your back. But, but he's a good man. <laughs> yeah, buddy. He work. Uh -huh. His family go to church. He provides. Uh, he got that house over there. Uh-huh. He respectful. He got his issues. He he smoked crack on Saturdays. But he all right with me. He all right with me. It's all right, because it, cause ain't nobody perfect. Straight from the VA. <laughs> <laughs> Dirty. Dirty. Too up. Too up. <laughs>